After a mysterious odor hit some downriver communities, the Marathon Petroleum Corporation confirming that a flare at its Detroit refinery was indeed the source of that smell. Marathon says it has significantly reduced the amount of material flowing into that flare since this morning. Marathon says air monitoring has not detected dangerous levels of any substances. It appears the cold weather caused a crack in the flare. Priya Mann is live at that Marathon facility. Priya, does it still smell out there? No, Steve, you can't smell anything at the moment, but a very different story just hours earlier. That's the type of flare that we're talking about. Now, these flares allow the refinery to safely combust excess compounds, but the problem is those chemicals have a strong rotten egg smell that's noticeable at extremely low levels. And in order for the flare to be repaired, it needs to be deactivated. Now, while officials say the smell was not hazardous, there are plenty of families who live around here who are worried. I smelled like some kind of dead fish and at the same time gas it made me feel like dizzy and want to throw up. Mohammed al Asari lives about two miles from the Marathon refinery. It was all over. It wasn't like something like the air is blowing and then it's going to go away. No, it was th th this was constant. Detroit, Dearborn and Downriver communities woke up to a strong, unpleasant odor Sunday morning. It might have been chemicals, it might have been dangerous. We don't know what it was. so. That's the problem. I don't know what it was. Was it harmful for my kid? The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality says the smell was traced to the cold flare system at the Marathon Petroleum Refinery in Detroit. MDEQ says Marathon is currently exploring short-term options to neutralize these odor-causing compounds present in the gas being flared. Marathon is also working to safely take the flare system out of service, which is a multi-day process. DEQ is coordinating with U.S. EPA and the city of Detroit on air monitoring and other aspects of the response to this incident. But you cannot escape it. You cannot because it, it was in the house. I check up on my kids, and then my three-month, uh, my three-month-old baby was kind of coughing really hard, and my wife was complaining. She wanted to leave the area. And after we called the fire department, and they told us it's not really necessary. And Marathon has since apologized for the odor and the inconvenience. Let's get a statement from them up on your screen. It reads in part, we've deployed air monitoring resources in affected areas. And although there is an odor, we have not detected dangerous levels of any substances. We are making our air monitoring data available to emergency responders and regulatory agencies. And Detroit City Council set to meet with Marathon officials on Tuesday. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Book 4. All right. Thank you, Priya.